thought last week, and I want to share it with you before it slips away. You know, when I was in high school, the parents and the teachers always liked the kids who were self-confident and self-assured. You know the ones I mean. The ones who would talk to your mom and dad like they were their buddies. <laughs> or they'd phone over to your house, and if you weren't there, they'd have a conversation with whoever answered the phone. <laughs> parents always like kids who have those kinds of people skills. My mom would say, boy, that Brian is such a nice kid. He's so outgoing. <laughs> and employers felt the same way. These outgoing kids became outgoing adults. They got great jobs, and they did real well, became leaders of their community, and good for them. Oh, yeah. They made a contribution to society, and they were rewarded for it. And now would someone please tell them to knock it off? <laughs> At my age... I don't want to be around anybody that outgoing. <laughs> I'd much rather spend time with my friend, Ed, who hardly ever says anything. And when he does, it's always something important. Stuff like, that's a cop. <laughs> These days, I just don't want anybody outgoing bugging me with their good mood. <laughs> I'm old and something probably hurts. <laughs> I'm well aware I'm in the last third of my life, and to be honest with you, I want the time to drag. <laughs> so I'm sock in it, Brian. I'm going fishing with Ed. Remember, I'm pulling for you. We're all in this together.